Good day, my fellow commuters. All right, my my brothers, sisters, all fellow commuters. What's good? Happy weekend. Uh, I decided uh, nothing special. Drop this quick update on my two main bikes, right? So let's get to the point, to the nitty gritty, what's going on here. The problem I'm having at the moment, it's not really a problem, but it's a nuisance. Let's just, let's just leave it at that, right? With, get ready, the specialized cross trail disc, right? 2014. So far, the bike has been excellent, no doubt. However, eventually, after almost, let's say about almost two months, you know, things start to get and it's not really an issue. The issue is is the saddle for me right now with the Specialized. I can't ride long, too long. Like, I can't. You know, personally, I can ride long distance. I can ride for miles. As long as I got water, some type of fuel, and a few bars. Like, I got, like, muscle milk bars and stuff like that. You know, everybody got their own thing, but... I, I just like it, but it fills me up. Just one big bar, boom. Uh, you know, and there you go. And I'm, you know, I'm good for a very long time. So that's how I pretty much I'm used to. I should really have two water mounts because my environment is different. It is the desert state, right? Phoenix, Arizona. So water or some type of electrolyte type drink. Uh, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't recommend energy or... Personally, I drink coffee before I bike ride, but that's just that's just me. That's not something that it's recommended. And I, as well, I probably have a drink after that coffee, like, you know, orange juice or something, and then take some water with me. Well, however, the Specialized Cost Trails disc, right, is supposed to be my main my number one right now for commuting right for groceries laundry pretty much for everything but however what's going on is the saddle Let's see if I can all right there you go now check this out see the difference between the saddles all right, so I guess what's on the specialized cross trails, right? That saddle, I guess it's a hybrid saddle. And it seems like if you, if you look carefully, it has that space in the middle, and that's a good thing. But I recommend the one with, with the pieces gone, the empty piece in the middle, the hole, right? Uh, it was decent after the first few weeks, but now, like, if you do, like, let's say if you're planning to do a couple of miles, you start filling it on the, so eventually, now, you know, that's the side where it comes with it, and so eventually, you're going to have to change it, so I already see that I'm going to have to change the saddle eventually, and it's not going to be time, it's not going to be done anytime soon, so, you know, still life, still got to do, put money on, the, on other things in life. So anyways, uh, well, I appreciate the Fuji saddle. So far, for the last couple of days, it's been pretty comfortable. I guess it's because the way now I have, right, the way I have the bike set up now. If you notice, I made changes to the front. Not real changes, but I added the extra lights and, you know, I'm doing a test run with the probably tonight to see how it looks with the with the lights in that view. 
uh, you know, uh, or I might just, 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 it depends how early I leave, so, you know, um, if you notice, I also, because this is an adjustable stem, right, you can have it higher up, you can make this as comfortable as you want, like, now I'm getting used to leaning forward and riding, so, um, hopefully probably tonight, just to see how I look, I'm gonna run a video, might not, depending how it looks, I might put it on, on, on YouTube, I might not, I just wanna see how I, how it looks, you know, in that view, going, and then late, then coming back on my, on my chest, so, um, then the whole, so far I've ridden it, I already tested, you know, without recording, it's just a ride around, you know, when you do adjustments, you gotta, of course, you know, so use the Allen keys and stuff. So I adjusted the neck, made it give it more of a straighter. It's not really, I don't know actually what angle, but gave it more of a straight look. Even I adjusted the handlebars and the, and the stem. So I gave it more. So if y'all y'all will be noticing that I was gonna be riding on a more uh, forward lean. Than usual, and it's good too because it, 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 I, I like it so far. So because it gives me the like, I'm actually using all my uh, strength, like my leg strength, and my arms so relax. All you gotta do is just keep your arms because this is the general position of ride. Most of rides, you know, you keep your hands on top, right, on top of the, on top of this. Um, your drops is for descending and speed, right? Down here, if I'm not mistaken, and leave a comment if I'm if I made a mistake. And up here is really more for slowing down if you're doing like a slow cruise mode or or um, doing a climb. So, but your main ride is usually this. I know that for sure. You know, I commute a lot. I know, and you know years <laughs> and I used to be a messenger and I used to use a road bike as well so I'm getting back into riding a road bike again and especially the one in this caliber uh, a Fuji newest uh, 3.0 uh, 2010 model and it still runs fine like and of course with the light uh, carbon fork and alloy handlebars you know it's pretty much a uh, the back is heavy and the front is light, so it's pretty much for me is balanced out for a nice commute, city commuter's bike. Um, anything above that is not gonna happen. So my only thing is my my con. Let's start let's start with the cons, right? That in my commutes, I'm gonna have to probably be out of carrying. I'm with, I'm I'm backpack because I'm not adding anything to the Fuji. I'm definitely not. That's not gonna happen. Uh, yeah, I'm not adding no real rags, no fenders, no anything. Just lights maybe and water mount. Just that's that's about it. Two or one, and it's gonna be pretty reasonably light. All right. Uh, oh, if you notice, uh, I took off the pedals from the cross trails and put it on on the Specialized. I mean, yeah, I mean, excuse me, on the Fuji. So I adjusted the straps to my liking, made it more tighter. So, um, also added the true 505. So that's pretty much my high beams. And this is, what, what, how you pronounce this, a uh, Zephar. So this is a cheap light, but it works pretty well. You can get that at Walmart or any bike stores. Like, this is like the see me like, hey, I'm here. Don't hit me. I'm here. So, you know, and of course, y'all know what this is, the can. So I'm gonna, and, you know, I just use the extra mount, but I don't feel confident it's going to stay on because of the, I know the terrain already. So I just, for now, I wrap the bungee around it just to see if it's going to, you know. So most likely I know it's going to get some vibration action there. And, this, and the saddle, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. And that's what I pretty much grew up on, on Velo anyway. It's just, you know, it's been a while and it's actually much more comfortable. So now I got the whole stem straight, 
And as you guys already know it, uh, and these are still in the cons. I'm just telling you what, what I have that adds a little bit more weight. And I'm also using um, Armadillo tires. So backpack, U-locks, it could be from one to from three I'm, I, I may be taking and I got my helm. So that's the only thing like that because this is more my stealthy samurai bike. <laughs> right? So this is going to be my, you know, my New York state of mind going, you know. So that's the whole point of adding the armadillo wheels because now I can cut corners, decent trails, you know, treat it like a city cycle cycle cross bike you know if i gotta climb upstairs i just put it on you know carry it's light enough it's heavy and light enough you know so i'm strong enough to pick it up it's pretty light uh so that's pretty much the deal what's going on now with my update on on the newest 3.0 fuji so those are the 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 cons about it but everything else the, the pros and you know the the good is you, i still have the speed Thanks to this guy right here, right? Thanks to this one, because it oh, it's heavier, a lot heavier, of course, you know, and it it gave me a lot of leg strength. So now, riding this one, and I showed you guys in my video, or uh, riding through the alleyway, and I wasn't even riding that fast. I was just like doing the regular spins and kept it on the right gears to give that, you know nice solid pedaling motion going on and I was just I rode through the through the trails with no problem. You know, even I did it again with the coffee. Not as fast, but it still was a good decent speed. You know, and I'm not saying that's a special trick, but that's something, you know, as a commuter you start, you know, especially you know you got good tires, you feel confident on your tires. So that's the real deals at the moment so the only reason I'm gonna start riding stop riding across trails for a while for maybe a week you know that's a lot for me because I still want to train on this because this is a lot heavier and I want to still you know get used to you know using the gears on this now I'm forced to use my road bike gears and it's a little tricky you know it's a little you know it's a whole different ball game you know so and I don't have no uh, no uh, lock and lock fork, so it's gonna be just straight ride. Is it? And you know, and, and to be honest, my confidence level now on the Fuji and as well, you know, it, it's pretty good lately since since, since the tires out on, and I, I and, and I burn rubber and I got you know, I, I just and I get places faster even when I'm carrying equipment, right? When I'm carrying equipment. But each bike of mine has its own job. So I'm glad this is happening to my uh, cross trails that I'm not going to be able to really ride them much because I can't stand that when the saddle. Because, you know, I, I, I train myself to try not to stand up, even though stand up riding gives you more power. But sometimes I just want to stay on the saddle and just use the gears. That's what I pay for. So... I'm gonna have to change that saddle, and you can see the difference of the saddle, the way it's set up. So I pretty much are gonna get it more as the Fuji style, the Velo style, uh, but get it, you know, a specialized brand. And then the good thing about this saddle, even though I'm not gonna be having too much comfort, but that's okay because I'm not gonna be sitting on much. It's gonna go on that bike, my Frankenstein, my Cruiser. <laughs> So then eventually I'm going to change the post as well. So certain parts is pretty much is going to go over there. You know, even uh, possibility uh, handlebars if I, if I decide to upgrade a handlebar. So there's going to be some switch ups. You know what I'm saying? So, and then of course those are my 26s. They're definitely going to get some armadillos as well. Because that's the tires I'm sticking with. Some people stick with their brands. I'm sticking with the Armadillos. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. So pretty much that's my quick update of what's good with my bikes. And looking forward to see if I can drop something for y'all tomorrow. Take care and God bless and thanks for watching.